Sitting Bull requested this council we await his word. Take your soldiers out of here to scare the game. Very well, sir. Tell me then, how far away should I take my men? You must take them out of our land. What precisely are your lands? These are the lands where my people lived before you whites first came. I don't understand. We whites were not your first enemies. Why don't you demand back the land in Minnesota where the Chippewa and others forced you from years before? The Black Hills are sacred land given to my people by Wakhan Falfa. How very convenient to cloak your claims in spiritualism. And what would you say to the Mormons and others who believe that their God has given to them Indian lands in the West? I would say they should listen to Wakhan Falfa. No matter what your legends say, you didn't sprout from the plains like the spawn grass. And you didn't coalesce out of the ether. You came out of the Minnesota woodland, armed to the teeth, and set upon your fellow man. You massacred the Kiowa, the Omaha, the Ponca, the Oto, and the Pawnee without mercy. And yet you claim the Black Hills is a private preserve bequeathed to you by the Great Spirit. And who gave us the guns and powder to kill our enemies? And who traded weapons to the Chippewa and others who drove us from our home? Chief Sitting Bull, the proposition that you were a peaceable people before the appearance of the white man is the most fanciful legend of all. You were killing each other for hundreds of moons before the first white stepped foot on this continent. You conquered those tribes, lusting for their game and their land, just as we have now conquered you for no less noble a cause. This is your story, my people. This is the truth, not truth. Sun went into shadow, and I lay dying. And in my death, I saw the heavens of the white robe. Yes, it is as they describe it. But also, there, my children, all the Indians. That ever wrong is heard. All your beloved ancestors and mine, and those young ones who were taken by the white man's diseases, do not grieve for them. They want you to know that they are happy. Yes. And you should not grieve for yourselves. Because here is what the white rose did not tell you. The white man, my children, will soon know more. teach you all the ancestors will return and the buffalo will be renewed and you shall all live forever forever in the freedom that we as Indian people once knew